What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue. And a while back I had a request from somebody asking me to do a quick and easy crock pot meal. I think I have the right one for you. What I'm going to be making today is going to be some pineapple chicken. This is something you can throw together before you go to work. Throw everything in a crock pot, rock that on low, and come back home to a nice delicious meal. Anyway, I'm going to put the recipe to this in the description below if you're looking for the exact measurements. Other than that, I'm going to tell you what I'm rolling with. Anyway, our first ingredient that we're going to be using is chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the crock pot right now. Next, we're going to need some pineapple juice. We have some brown sugar. I have some orange peppers that I just randomly cut up into chunks. I have some jalapeno uh, slices. This is optional, so these are fresh jalapenos. I just cut those into slices. If you don't like hot food, skip this one right here. We have soy sauce. I have some garlic, and basically I just cut those up into thin slices as well. I have some red onions. Any kind of onions would work. Uh, I have those cut up into random sized chunks as well. I would normally go with regular ginger, but I don't have any right now, so we're going to be going with some uh, ground ginger. And later on down the road in this recipe, uh, we're going to get into some cornstarch to thicken this up. Anyway, our next step outside of having our chicken in our crock pot is going to be to... Excuse me, I did forget an ingredient. We have some chicken stock right here as well. So our first step is going to be to add our pineapple juice from these pineapple chunks into our chicken stock. So I'm going to do that with both of these cans. And if you don't like pineapple chunks, you could go ahead and uh, buy the crushed pineapples. You can use fresh pineapples. I think that might even be better. But I had these pineapple chunks on hand, so that's what we're rolling with. So we got that mixed in with our uh, chicken stock. Now we're going to go ahead and add our soy sauce. And I'm going to say that's going to be a two-taste kind of a situation right there. So we have that together. We're going to go ahead and mix this up. Alright, got that mixed up. Now we're going to go ahead and add our vegetables. So we're going to go ahead and throw our red onions in, our orange peppers, green peppers, red peppers would work just as well, our garlic, our jalapenos. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of crush up this brown sugar on top. We are going to stir this throughout the cook at least one time. It's not necessary, but if you have an opportunity to do it, go ahead and do that. So we got that in. Now we're going to add our pineapple chunks on top. You know what? I need to add my ginger into my chicken stock. I forgot about that. Just going to go ahead and throw this chicken stock mixture on top of our chicken and vegetables. I'm going to get this crock pot turned on. Now, you can cook it for, you know, six to eight hours on low. I need to get this done in about four hours, so I'm going to be going on high. So, we'll check back in on this, take a look at it in about an hour and a half, see how it's doing. We are about an hour and a half in on this. Like I said, we are kind of doing this a little hot and fast. We aren't doing the cooking it on low. Let's go ahead and mix this stuff up right quick. All right, it is smelling amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on this and we'll check back in in another hour and a half. Guys, we are about three hours and 45 minutes in on this. My wife's going to be home in about 30 minutes, so 
I'm going to go ahead and add this cornstarch and water mixture in just to kind of thicken it up. That should make a nice little sauce for us. I'll add a little bit more if I need to. I'm going to go ahead and make some rice. I wanted to make some white rice with this, but my hippie daughter bought some brown sprouted rice. I don't know anything about that. Looks like you just cook it 30 minutes, sort of like brown rice. But anyway, that's what we're rolling with. So next time you see me, we're probably going to take another shot at this just to see what it looks like. Then it's going to be time to get our eat on. Guys, this is a wrap. My wife just got home from work. She's getting out of her clothes. But here's kind of what we're looking like, that nice and creaminess. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up with some of that hippie rice that my daughter bought. And we're going to get a taste test on. It's time to see if this three and a half, four hours was worth the wait. Anyway, let's dig in. Like I said, I am using this hippie ass like uh, I never heard of brown sprouted rice before, but that's what we're using. So. I have to say that is pretty damn good. Man, I'm about to eat again. This was one of those things that, you know, I think it's perfect if you're going to be gone for a long time, just throw this stuff in. I did this on a quicker method. I did this in about four hours. I had I had it pumped up probably closer to what would be high on a normal crock pot. Like I said, if you're going to be at work for a long time, throw this on low. Do what you got to do. Definitely rock this out with some rice. I'm not familiar with sprouted rice before, but it does. You know what? It's not as good as white rice, but it's better than brown rice, if that makes sense. I mean, it, better than regular brown. Anyway, this is a winner. I would like to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Barbecue. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.